Greetings and salutations and welcome to the Autodesk Inventor video. In today's video, it's back again to Cadmus and we're going to be making a nice festive snowflake. Here's the one I made last year and here's one I just made minutes ago. This is very sketch intensive so bring your best sketching skills along and join me for the ride. So let's get to it. So we're going to start with the parts, we're going to start a 2D sketch. Now then, we're going to do 12, we're going to do a 12 point star, 360 degrees around a point, 360 over 12 is 30. But what we're going to do first is we're going to find just a couple of things. So let's start with 20, start with the 20 mil line. This is going to be our middle line. And this is just going to be construction line. There are going to be quite a few construction lines, right? I was going to put another line out here and another line out here. They don't matter particularly because we're going to constrain them. We're going to set them all equal to this midline so they're all the same length <coughs> and we are then going to then make them all symmetrical around this line and we're going to define that angle as 15 degrees because 15 either side gives us the 30 degrees we need okay now that's most Pretty much most of it now. We can set this other side off for now because we can. We're going to focus on that other side later when it comes to mirroring it. So we're going to start with if we start building. Let's go 50 high. So this is going to be like the main beam of it, and we'll go across. Actually, no, we won't go across. We'll click OK. We'll click line, and we're going to go up to the middle, and we're going to match it click OK okay right so the next thing we then need to do is we then need to put an arc in and we're gonna make this it's got a tangent arc here wait doesn't start selecting stuff actually no we'll modify it so what's our radius looking at and now it's gonna be already over constrained 5.176 now, if we then get rid of this constraint here, click cancel, exit out the constraints, delete that, turn it out, turn it into a driving dimension, we can now edit the whole width of this far, easy, far easier, and we can just change that to a 5. Now, what we can then do is we can do another line. Make that equal to 5. Click OK. And we can grab a 3 point arc and we can just go from there. And if you set it to 5, what you should then be able to do is if you set it that tangential. There we go, we've now got the perfect round part. OK. So that's kind of the half part. But at the moment, if we rotate it around, after we mirror it and rotate it around, you're not going to be left with very much. So the next job is we're now going to make another construction line. And this is essentially going to continue on our line. So you can pretty much put it out 50 degrees, 50 millimeters, 15 degrees, and there it'll just carry it on. So what we've now got here is the gap of space we can use to play around with. So if we go with a line here, now this is where you can do pretty much whatever you like. You just grab it, snap it there. If I actually stop being a construction line, make it real, disable construction line. And what we could really now just do is I could just pick another point. And I'm just gonna snap it on to there. And we can then make them both parallel where is the constraint. There we go, parallel. So we can make them both parallel to each other. The next thing we can also do is we can add in a second line down the middle at seven and a half degrees just for a bit more point. You'll see what happens when I do this. So now I can pick a line, pick a line higher up, pick a point higher up. We go from here and we then just go here, make them both parallel. A lot of the time you can automatically do it, but see I can just select there, 
make these two parallel job done and last but not least we can go from here and we can drag all the way up to there and we can go all the way to there and finally we just then need just to cap off the ends there we go right so that's almost all of the sketch done. We've got a little bit of trimming to do now, just to make it all into one big section. So let's go trim it down, see where the X are forming, just so we can then create splits. Uh, so you click OK, and so now what you should then be able to do is, when well, the dimensions don't get in your way, is you can now then delete all those mid parts and they'll all join up. Now we see we can. We can actually go and dimension all of this if we want. Just select the dimensions when it wants to. Choose to over constrain it. Obviously, we can also use, we can auto dimension, so we can just apply all the dimensions we need. Because most of the time, we're not going to apply the adjustments, this is now just for stability, and we can just finish the sketch and we can then just extrude and let's say we make this 8mm just get a couple mil off okay now we can now do a bit more work to this so firstly we're going to mirror it just along all those features along that mirror plane click ok and we can also then rotate it circular and we can select both features in the feature tree, rotation axis, we could just select the bottom, bottom point of it, and if we set it to 12, it'll all link up nicely. Except there might be some gaps. Never worry, you can always adjust it. Obviously, no snowflake is identical, you can adjust it, we can join the link up, we can make it smaller, you can also overlap it, you can adjust how many times you rotate it, snowflake pattern. You could effectively make it if you wanted to make it. If you wanted to do 78, you could do 78. You could do 89. Got 8. You could do 10. Honestly, it's whatever you want to do. I'm just going to leave it at 12. Click OK. And last but not least, you can just add a chamfer on the edges. This might crash the machine. I hope this won't crash the recording. Inventor's not going to be very happy. Let's see what we can do. Nope, Inventor is apparently saying no to shove this probably because I'm recording and I've got other things in the background so it's trying not to crash itself. But otherwise, you can add fillets, you can pretty much do whatever you want, make it individual, make it your own. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next Cadmus video. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.